What is up YouTube friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ruby and today's video is going to be a Oakenfort Beauty haul and try on and review. If you guys aren't familiar with the brand Oakenfort, it is a clothing store here in Canada. It's based out of Vancouver and they've just launched their new beauty line. This isn't sponsored by Oakenfort. I just was so excited about all the things that they gave us that I kind of wanted to do like a little mini haul and I haven't done a beauty thing in a while. The other day we went to the beauty launch event and it was like a really cute long table brunch with a couple of influencers. I think there was about like 10 or 15 of us. Some of these are already open because we did have like a mirror set up in front of us and they wanted us to test it on our skin and see if we like the colors. So getting right into it, they gave us six of their nail polishes. The first one's kind of like a mauve nude, which is almost exactly what I'm wearing on my hands right now. This is just shellac that I got from the nail salon. The next one is also kind of a nude, but it's more of a beige nude. So it's got more of a yellow undertone, whereas the other one had more of a red. Speaking of red, this one is kind of like a rust color. And then we have kind of like a cool gray. So it's a gray with kind of bluish undertones. Seafoam green. And then the last one is a matte finish. So it's a clear matte top coat. So I know there's BB cream and CC cream. Not really sure what the difference is. So if you guys know what exactly a CC cream is, please comment down below because I actually don't know at all. I don't really use BB creams or CC creams just because I really like a high coverage foundation. I feel like I am gonna try out using one of these for um, the summertime because it is a bit lighter. So this is what the packaging looks like little compact and then it clicks open this is a little dirty right now because i've already used it click it open and it's like a sponge so i got it in three different colors opal the one that's opened which is the one that suits me it's the lightest one then there is suna and ikru i really do like the formula of this i like the idea of like a push pad like a cushion formula the only thing i don't like about this is that it get, kind of gets everywhere to be honest i think my beauty blender is gonna work a bit better yeah i think i would use the beauty blender instead of that little cushion. I think I'm gonna give the other two to my mom and my sister and see what they think. I'll show you probably my favorite product out of this whole line. This is the O powder in beige. And I just actually ran out of my NYX powder. I really love loose powders like this because I like to bake. Laura Mercier setting powder. I, I've used that one and I feel like this is very similar to it. The next face product that I got is a little cream blush, which I love. It's a pretty bright coral. I don't normally wear cream blushes just because I feel like with full coverage foundation, when you put on a cream blush, it kind of like takes away a bit of the foundation. This would be, I guess, if I used the CC foundation as like a lighter coverage in the summertime, but I'll try it out for you guys. So it's really pigmented and then it kind of has like a powdered finish which is nice you don't have to use a lot of it at all like I just dab my finger in I'm gonna have to take that down a bit because that is aggressive I actually really like that I didn't really give it a shot the first time but I really like it and this is in the color reef okay I'll do the brow products so they gave me three of their brow products it is called the O brow I like the color Rhea this is what the actual packaging looks like on the one end there is a spoolie and then on the other end it's got this really cool tip that's kind of like thicker angled tip so i would say this color is pretty perfect for me um i feel like it would be good to take a finer eyebrow pencil and kind of shape your eyebrow first um, because it is thicker and then go in with this to fill it in but I really like it the other ones are quite dark I think I'm gonna try and see if my sister will want the kind of medium dark one and then I'll see if anybody I know that has really dark eyebrows wants the other one I have another eye product so this is the O liner and I really like this even though I don't really wear eyeliner because I get mega volume sets on my eyelashes but this one is so cool it is the sharpest eyeliner I have ever seen and it is in atelier is the color even though I don't wear eyeliner I am gonna try this because it looks so precise I feel like it would be perfect for a cat eye they gave me three lip products the first one is a lip tint a lipstick and then the O lip which is kind of like a liquid lipstick so I'll show you the lip tint first in the shade whisper I 
it is super moisturizing and I really like how it feels on my lips. I just feel like it, if you're somebody that likes a gloss, I think that this would work for you. I really like a matte bold lip. So I think that this would be a bit too sheer for me. A chapstick meets a lipstick, but it still is really, really pretty. The lipstick. So this is in the shade Gamay. So it is more of like a creamy sheen formula, but I find it really hydrating. It goes on super smooth, like it's not patchy at all. And the color is so nice. The next one is my favorite out of the lip products. And it is the O Lip. Like I said, it's kind of like a liquid lipstick. Then the color... Nova and I put this on at the event and I honestly wore it all day and I got so many compliments on it I love a bold lip. I love a liquid lip and I love a matte lip. So this is the best of all of them So I find this is really good because it kind of layers like it goes on a little creamy But then you can layer it really easily and it gets super opaque this it kind of has like silicone primer feel to it so even if you put it on for the whole time that you're wearing it it still feels like creamy but it doesn't feel sticky or glossy or anything it just feels really hydrating it's hard to explain but I feel like it wasn't drying it wasn't wet it's just kind of this nice like almost powdered finish to it I don't know hard to explain but I really really like this definitely by far this and the Loose powder are my favorite. Um, the things that I didn't like are just based on preference. It's not because the products itself aren't great. It's just very specific with my makeup. I can appreciate all the hard work that went into this. If you guys have any questions about the particular products that I've talked about, you can comment down below or message me on Instagram. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.